Urgent news coverage! We are talking about the death of two people! The killer has still not been found! They're going to put them in the ground now! All the villagers are crying and in mourning because such a terrible incident has happened. Everyone stands with a bouquet of flowers and mourns the dead. To this day, no one understands why such a terrible crime happened. No one still understands how this is possible. Unfortunately, nothing else can help them. No one still understands how this is possible. Now the dead have been put in the ground and flowers have been placed. Eyewitnesses say that the bodies were found near the cave. <gasps> Mikey, did you see that? Those two who were buried look so much like us. Let's go downstairs now. I want to look at myself in the mirror because somehow it's all weird. Uh oh Oh no! We've become ghosts now. We urgently need to remember what happened yesterday and how it happened in general. Hmm. I understand we were killed, but I don't remember exactly how. Do you remember that the correspondent said that our bodies were found in a cave? It's terrible. I still can't believe that we got into such a terrible story. We have become ghosts. We need to do something urgently. You gave a good hint and go to that cave you were talking about. Hmm. We have just flown up to the cave and we need to go inside. I want to see what's there because the bloodstains point to that place. Huh? Even now I see that an inanimate lamb is lying here. I don't understand what could have happened to him here. Let's try to study him. You see that there are some strange stripes on his body right now. These are claw marks. Mikey, you're totally right. This is very unusual. We must take our time now and still study everything in detail. Hmm. I don't want any of us to get hurt, so we have to focus on the investigation now. There is clearly something terrible going on here, so let's pay attention to the traces of blood. They will surely lead us to something. This is terrible. I still can't believe we're facing such an incredibly dangerous problem. Now we are already starting to follow the traces of blood. They lead somewhere deep into the forest, and I don't understand who could do such a thing. You see that in the distance there is a huge puddle of lava. This is where the tracks end. Something strange is happening here. I can't understand why. Surely there is some kind of mystery, and I have an idea. <laughs> Let's try to get through this lake now. I see that you're already starting to have fun. We are ghosts, so we will not burn in the lava. Nothing will happen to us. We must seize the moment now. What are you waiting for? Come down for me soon. I'm waiting for you downstairs. Don't be afraid, it's lava. She won't do anything to me because we're immortal now. Huh? Now you can see how we got into some kind of lair and there are a huge number of inanimate creatures here. Let's go over now and see what's going on with them here. I still can't believe it. This is a creepy place. Mikey, we're in a lot of danger right now. You must understand perfectly well that we cannot make any mistakes. Now we must definitely study everything that is happening here and understand how it happened. Let's look at every part of this cave now and then draw some conclusions. Huh? Just the main thing is not to make unnecessary sounds and very quietly. Just look, there are skeletons everywhere. The cow is completely immobilized and there are a huge number of skeletons in the cages. I don't understand what kind of disgusting place this is. Who could commit such acts? I still don't understand. Have we really found someone who destroys everyone in his path now? I have a strange feeling. Mikey, take a quick look. A werewolf has just come running here and he looks just awful. I am shocked by what is happening. The good thing is that we're a ghost and he can't see us. He's the one who's doing all these terrible murders. We have to follow up and figure out what he's going to do next. He is very aggressive and runs around the room just like that. It feels like all this is not happening in reality. This werewolf is behaving very strangely. I don't understand how this is possible. He went to bed now because he was very full and now he decided to rest. We need to come up with something urgently now. Let's get out of his lair and run upstairs. <laughs> we have to tell the villagers about this somehow. I hope that they will help us and still find this werewolf. Mikey, I think I've got a really cool idea. Let's do something unusual now. Let's fly to the village and see what its inhabitants are doing. After that, we will try to show them where this terrible place is. Now we are flying to them, and I see that they are not doing anything special. They are just standing still. No. Uh -oh. Therefore, we will now do everything possible to attract attention. Hooray! You were right! After all, they are in the village now, and absolutely no one sees us because we are a ghost. I think it's definitely not worth staying, so we're going back now as soon as possible. 
We need to make sure that the villagers can go through the lava. Therefore, we will have to build a certain structure. I hope that we will be able to convince them. Hmm. Concentrate on our business now. We have very little time, so we have to hurry up. In no case do I want to let the werewolf go unpunished. We must do everything possible to take revenge on him for such a terrible murder. He continues to do bad things and must bring punishment. That's why we're building a special entrance now. Our work is going very well right now. I'm building an entire road so that villagers can easily get to the lava puddle. They do not see us at all. So they will be able to point the right way without any problems using the stones that I am making now. Mikey is minding his own business right now. He's completely building a tunnel into a puddle of lava. I'm still pulling the road all the way to the village. There is very little left, and the villagers will see where they need to go. I hope that Mikey has already done a good job there and has the design that we agreed on completely ready. <laughs> if he has already completely made part of the tunnel descending to the werewolf's lair, then this is already good. Now I'm going to finish the part of the platform that Mikey hasn't finished yet and go to him in the tunnel. Mikey, how are you doing? Oh, you won't believe me now, but I'm almost done with the tunnel construction. All I have to do is make a part of the walls and then put up the stairs. So help me as soon as possible. Together we will finish the construction very quickly and the villagers will be able to go down. I want to bring this werewolf to justice as soon as possible. He has crippled the lives of many. Uh-oh, it's very difficult to disagree with you on this. Therefore, I will do my best and I will definitely help you. Now we are already starting to install ladders and we need to put them up as soon as possible. I think the villagers can come here at any moment and we must be ready for this. I think we have done a huge amount of work. <laughs> we need to finish building the tunnel and get the villagers here. I want to see as soon as possible how they will descend into this cave where the werewolf is sleeping now. So let's not linger now and go to them. I see now that you have built an incredibly beautiful road. It's very cool, but we need to do something to attract attention. Now I'm going to build a huge pillar and put diamonds on top. This way we will attract the villagers who are now ready to attack without any problems. You see that they have weapons in their hands. Hmm. They want to take revenge for what happened as soon as possible. One of them has already decided to run forward and it's very cool. Soon they will be at the tunnel and then justice will be done. I can't believe my eyes. They are really running along the road and it seems to me that these wars will finally be able to take revenge on the werewolf for killing us. Now we need to concentrate and carefully monitor what will happen next. Ho <laughs> ho! Two village warriors were already approaching here and are starting to descend into the tunnel that we built for them. We can only hope for the best. The main thing is that they can go down into this cave and find this werewolf. I hope that he didn't run away and is still sleeping in that place. Now these wars are beginning to explore the cave they descended into. Finally, soon they will go to where the werewolf is. Now we need to point out to these warriors that the werewolf is in the next room. So let's show them now in some way. They are in complete shock right now. Huh? They still don't understand that something like this could happen in this creepy place. Now we are already pointing out where the werewolf is. They're starting to destroy it. It's very cool that we were able to show the villagers now. Everything is going incredibly cool for us. I still can't believe that we really overcame this terrible ordeal. Now, the villagers never cease to amaze me. After they destroyed the werewolf, they finally noticed some strange flasks on the table. Uh oh There is a potion there. I still don't fully understand why they take it. I hope they have a plan. Great! Let's follow them now! They are going to go somewhere and get out of this tunnel very quickly! We urgently need to find out where they are running to! I've never seen anything like it and still want to know what they want to do! I hope that in the near future they will be able to use this potion for its intended purpose. I think I'm starting to guess what they're going to do with it! <laughs> I don't want to get ahead of time. We're just watching what they're doing right now! I can already see that they are heading back along the road to the village! For some reason, they are so happy. Most likely, this potion is intended for us because they turned and ran in the direction where we were buried. You were right after all. They're really heading that way. I hope that they have come up with something now and can resurrect us in the near future. Hmm. 
This potion is meant for us, and they wouldn't just rush there so fast. All this is somehow unusual for us. I still can't believe that we were able to attract the villagers. They are helping us now. Now they have already run up to our places, and we need to see what they will do. I'm very excited right now, and I don't know what it's related to. After all, something unusual is happening. I'm going to move back into my body. You need to dig yourself out of the ground. I want to thank the warriors for saving us. I still manage to get out now. Thank you so much for saving us. In gratitude for this, we would like to thank you. How can we do this? JJ, I'm happy. Do you understand that we are now back in our bodies and can do whatever we want? So let's thank our saviors now and build a very beautiful building for them. I think it will definitely improve the village and they will be very happy. I'm enjoying everything that's happening right now with us. Woohoo! You have no idea how glad I am. Now we are already running to build a new building for them. I want to build a multi-story house where a huge number of different villagers can live. I think they will be very pleased if we do just that as a sign of gratitude. Therefore, we will use the best materials. I don't want them to be disappointed in us. Then we need to speed up. I don't want the villagers to wait for us for a long time. We start building a house from the bottom. We will have to build a stone foundation there and make the floor wooden. This is the best performance at home. <laughs> Together, we will definitely finish it in the near future. But now, we need to do everything possible and finally complete the construction. I completely agree with you. So now we will share the responsibilities. First, we will build a floor together, and then we will move to the walls. I believe that we will need to build parallel to each other, and then the house will be finished much faster. <laughs> the main thing is not to make mistakes. It must be of very high quality, and in no case will it fall apart while we show it to the villagers. Mikey, don't get distracted. The frame of the house is being built very quickly, and it makes me very happy. We must not stop in any case. The villagers are waiting for us to finish building this house, and they will be able to live there. I'm trying very hard right now, because I'm incredibly grateful for saving them. Oh! But I think we should hurry up, because I'm very tired and I want to rest as soon as possible. There is no time to rest, because we still have a lot of problems that we have to solve. I think you understand perfectly well that we have to build this house. As soon as we manage to do this, we can immediately rest. For now, let's make windows and put up a door. The frame of our house will be completely built. All that remains is to make a roof. I like working with you in the same company. These are incredibly pleasant emotions. We work so well together and we're doing great. Now, at the moment, everything is going better than ever for us. Oh! <laughs> well, I think that we must also build several floors because a one-story house is too small. The villagers will be unhappy. I totally agree with you on this. Let's start this work now and build the second floor as soon as possible. I want to see the results as soon as possible and understand how cool it turns out to be. I think that we have already done a lot of work, but you should not relax. Construction is not easy for us. I'm very tired. I am currently working hard to complete what you and I have planned to build as soon as possible. I think we have very little left and finally the house will be completed. I want to see the emotions of the villagers who will receive such a beautiful building. It will completely belong to them, and we definitely do not claim it, because they saved us, and we are very grateful for that. These are the right words for Mikey. I believe that soon the villagers will see the end result. We are already finishing this work, and I just want to finish the second floor as soon as possible. We have very little time left, and we will already start installing windows. Therefore, let's work together now to use all the material that we have and complete this construction. We are great at what we do. Maybe we'll become builders after that. I think we will have an incredible number of orders that will make everyone happy. But for now, I'm just doing what you tell me to do. I think everything is going great for us at the moment because we are already starting the construction of the roof. It's definitely not worth stopping. We don't have much time left. The villagers are probably in full expectation right now and want to see this house as soon as possible. I feel that's why we finished building now and it's time to run outside. I want to look at the house from the outside. I think he looks great and we will get incredible pleasure from what we saw. Mikey, do you like what we've done? No. The house is beautiful. I am very glad that we were able to build it because it looks incredibly beautiful. 
I think we've done a great job! Now it's time to show the villagers what we have managed to build during this time. You can live here now and do whatever you want. We did a lot of work and the house turned out to be incredible. <laughs> now we will set a delicious table for you and put a huge amount of sweets. Everything is going great for us at the moment. The villagers have a lot of fun and enjoy what surrounds them. They are very happy with the house they built and it's cool. Therefore, now we will all sit down together, eat very tasty food and have fun. You have no idea how nice it is to be in such company. It really gives a huge amount of pleasure and the entertainment we have is incredible. I think the villagers are very happy with what has been built for them during this time. I suggest you go outside now and spend some more time in the fresh air. I think we did our best and everything ended perfectly for us. <laughs> the house is built and now we are all having fun outside. We have a huge amount of sweets and delicious food. Now everything has ended incredibly well for us. We stopped being ghosts and got our bodies back. The house is built and the villagers are happy. That's how our incredible story ended. Thank you all so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel, like it, and leave your comments.